hey guys welcome to code view so today we are going to discuss one of the interview that i recently attended and it was from clever tab sorry clever trip right so in this interview i will share you few details and this interview was for uh, software development 4 right and experience they are considering for this role 6 to 10 years right so i just attended this interview so i'll walk through that what are the <coughs> interview process in this and what were the question asked right so so let's go with the interview right and so the total number of uh, interview happened uh, has uh, for this role software engineer, development engineer 4 they have introductory round that will happen with the hr then they will have the system design round low level design basically they are focusing right and now next uh, they will be having once you clear this they will be having the machine code round machine coding round and org fitment it will be techno managerial and then they will be having the hr round right so hr discussion so these are the rounds so let me uh, i'll more uh, give the more priority here also in the discussion like what i questions i was asked and how much time they gave for system design and machine co coding round right so first interview that they have uh, so interviewer uh, appeared and uh, first uh, we discussed uh, about my current project uh, in detail basically and uh, he also wanted to know about my role in the project right what are the tech stack and what did i do like it, it was from scratch or did i uh, did i use any uh, like scalability or any other uh, other things to make the system better right so all these questions he had for this and once i was able to once i answered all this his whatever he asked right and we moved to another question that was system design question and in this system design question so he gave me one scenario right so he uh, he told like he we are we, we are having lot of uh, uh, files right and that files having a collection of different merchandise and this merchandise are basically some of the companies those data we have to store in our uh, db right and they will have they will be having few uh, uh, what we can say uh, they will be having like uh, unique ids right the, with that you you will uh, differentiate this uh, list right and in the return what you have to return the once i will pass in the get ip get api then you have to uh, you have to give me the particular particular user details or particular merchandise detail right and the data size that we will be storing will be 100 millions of users right so you have to consider all these things scalability and he also asked uh, what will be your db structure if you are using sql or if which first he asked that if you are going with the sql db or no sql db where do we storing what will be the criteria of you deciding the db part right and once the db design be finalized then what are the apis you will be having right for this so i told them that we are having that create upload modify append delete right or get collections so like so he asked me the structure of my api right and then what are the so these are these are the things that uh, i answered him right and this interview went well right and then uh, let me know also if uh, you have any like if you want to ask anything in uh, this question right anything regarding please put in the current uh, comment section after that uh, this interview i moved to machine coding round and machine coding round so this was i think very uh, longest interview that i attended and they gave uh, us the like it was it we have to do on the system with on any of the id and we have to upload all our uh, uh, whatever code we are uh, developing we have to upload to some file and then we have to send right and this code should be uh, what we can say this code should be testable because uh, unit tested right everything we have to give right and so what was the question let me explain you the question so question was that uh, there is a covid testing platform that you have to build 
and this COVID testing platform will be having set of testing centers and those you will be uh, those uh, will have some x y coordinates right and these coordinates will be having uh, okay these coordinates are within the city so right so uh, and there are few users who want to opt the testing service from these uh, platforms right T these testing testing centers correct so now what you have to develop you have to develop three apis here right the apis will be onboarding testing center book book testing kit and receive kit right so these apis we have to develop and there are some scenarios that we have to keep in mind right so like for uh, for onboarding testing sensor what we have to uh, see basically right so this will be one time call and the, you will be given that uh, testing sensor and you have to keep in you have to put in some uh, in memory database uh, in memory uh, in memory system basically so we don't have to use any database connection or anything right so they were very specific so this will be one in memory uh, in memory uh, you have to keep like list or anywhere you can keep it right and during the test you can use that okay and each testing testing center will have some unique id location and number of kits available on this uh, testing center right so this is one api now and this will be post right and this booking testing center right so once user want to book a test book a test kit and the parameter that we're passing in this method will be user coordinate right so user coordinates are will be uh, given and we have to give the priority to that uh, that testing center which is more close to users coordinate right so length uh, like distance should be minimum so we have to take in priority so booking the testing center what we have to keep in mind so first user can reserve a test kit if test kit is available to to any of the testing center right if test kit is not available for particular user or at the setting center so we need to put the user in we have to put the user in the waiting list right so this is uh, like we have to develop and then we have the another api that we have to develop the receive kit right so receive kit means it will have the testing center and it will also have the number of kits available for this particular uh, uh, testing center right so so what we have to we have to give once this is successful uh, we are able to perform this operation receive kit then we have to return the user id user id of uh, user detail of that uh, basically whoever is uh, successfully booked that right and if testing center receive kit is like uh, and if and there is no uh, uh, test kit available then we have to uh, just uh, we have to put uh, that in the testing center and we, we can increase the count right and whoever uh, user are waiting list we, then we, we have to assign that kit to them right so this was the basically uh, uh, this was the my machine coding round and i have submitted the code so still i will be waiting for their result to announce and right so yeah guys after that uh, like if uh, this uh, uh, this level of interview will be passed then i will move to techno manager round right and where we will have the fitment as well fitment interview and then sr discussion right so this is it in this section please let me know if you have any comment right if you have any question please ask in the comment thank you goodbye